this type of forensics falls under the sub category of network forensics because of rapid advancements and widespread adoption of the cloud computing technical organizational and legal are the three different dimensions of cloud forensics and it's also important to consider the cloud service provider the cloud consumer and the chain of dependencies between them where is forensic evidence most commonly found in the cloud it's a billion dollar question the first step is to know where the data is and how much direct access one has to the infrastructure supporting it as stated before it is significant to identify the cloud type and the cloud deployment model one uses some of the striking advantages of cloud forensics are cost effectiveness data abundance policies and standards and finally forensics as a service that is available today the process of extracting and analyzing the digitally captured images for validating their authenticity is known as the digital image forensics it also involves the process of improving the image folders metadata to determine its past this is widely used in most of the morphing cases or pornographic cases this refers to the process of gathering analyzing and assessing audio visual footages it uses scientific methods to determine the original authenticity of the recorded audio or video files or examining them if they are accidentally or maliciously tampered the process of recovering the evidence from the volatile memory that is ram random access memory through the process of live acquisition is referred to as memory forensics of course it is integrated with various other forensics also This type of digital forensic method is used to examine or recover IoT devices from incidents and it is known as IoT forensics. Today IoT technology is very fastly developing and it it includes a wide variety of zones namely IoT zone, network zone and cloud zone. During the process of IoT forensics the forensic expert can search and accumulate the proof from a smart IoT device or a sensor a core network like a firewall or a router an external network such as cloud or any other analogous application based on these zones IoT forensics can also be carried out based on certain aspects like cloud iot forensics network iot forensics and device level iot forensics definitely iot forensics too has certain challenges because there has been an increasing necessity of digital forensics in the iot world as most of the devices in the current technology are smart devices some of the major iot challenges confronted by the forensic experts are location of the data finding precise cloud based accounts iot security challenge identifying the device type and finally preservation of data format digital forensics has been identified as the sub field of cyber security in recent times by the national academy of science It's a very very important stage in the investigation process of cyber crime. We have deliberated on different digital forensic branches and how they can be considered important in creating the digital evidences during the investigation process. 
So thank you learners, we'll be meeting soon with much more topics in cyber security.